Hi guys, welcome back to I think part five of my items, altered items for my swap with Wa Bianca sixty six thirty or forty four thirty. Well, I can't remember. <laughs> okay, um, Wa saw the cameras I made for Trisha um, for her birthday last year, I think. Yeah. And she wished for one of those in her swap, so we had some wishes, both of us. So she wanted me to make one, and I did, but wow, it turned out a little bit different because you know, as you work with things, you get ideas and um, things you want to use, and so on. And I wanted to make it even more dimensional, and so I got the idea of using. It's actually been an ice cream box, and you can. No, I have painted it over, but perhaps you can see it faintly here. It's uh, been a box. It's been an ice cream ice cream cake. So uh, no ice cream on the box. I assure you. Um, so I made like an explosion in that. I cut the cross, and you know. I started making a tutorial when I started making this, but I kind of just gave up because it's, uh, I don't know, Windows Slime Movie Maker messes up with me, so I don't know what to do. So, and then, let's see now, uh, where should I start, of course. Um, I started putting down all kinds of scraps of laces, just like I did for Trisha. Uh, and then I just set over all of it and then I started spraying and had a ball doing that. Um, I had chosen my image to be this one and this one is actually the only one that uh, kind of um, doesn't fit in with the rest but it's still fits but it's just not the same lady. <laughs> but I wanted to use that because she was a little bit naughty but not too naughty and then she's a flapper and she's just wearing those gorgeous things see and she have a little touch of Lindis over her just to make it even older and then I used one of these uh, dress forms uh, and that's the reason I wanted to make it to an explosion box because I wanted to fit the dress form into it. It was just fitting. And let's see, let me put that, take down the camera so I can show you the details because it's not easy to do holding the thing. Alrighty, so here you can see more of the details. Uh, I made actually a mold of one of the items I bought in my haul in US last year which Rosa helped me with so I made a mold of it and this is actually made of hot glue and it's just just so that you know had a ball with that same with this one that's an origin heart well I buy it here I haven't seen it elsewhere and I just played with that uh, you see there's a touch of pink, I used feely grease, um, I used one of the cameos I had in my store, uh, I might get them back in, uh, buttons, for set flowers, uh, there's a little bit of a doodad, some pearl trim, one of these again. Um, this lace flower and a real bling thing in the middle and glue strings <laughs> goodness gracious and here I made like a curtain like curtain call you know a curtain falling she's on the scene and I topped it up with a centerpiece on top with a little angel I believe I got that one from Virginia 1468 uh, filigrees, they were bronze. I painted and stressed and sprayed the heck out of them. And a uh, pretty, pretty rhinestone crown. Uh, and then again, doodads and flowers and appliques all the way around. 
this piece here I got from Shelf, I believe. A little cameo there. More flower centers, and this one I used a little bit of fiber around. And it's, this is the butter soft uh, lace, but I have sprayed it a little bit. It's more cream. And then, yeah, flower center. This one was made by Jackie, Scrappy Jack one. And I just sewed it a bit. And buttons, yeah. So you go. Let's see, and on the top, it's just the fabric is folded over. It's buttons behind here. Let's see, just to cover it up, make it all pretty, you no know, technical showing. So that's the shadow explosion box canvas mixed media, shabby chic, other arts, glam, shabby chic, um, thingy. <laughs> I made for a while. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I forgot to look inside here. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, sorry. <laughs> um, okay, what did I do? Um, yeah, I covered the whole inside. Hello, talk about forgetting things. I covered the whole inside with paper. Fabric, that was actually pretty complicated. And I figured out this is not going to go down smoothly. So I just slapped it down and just tucked it in so it gave me those folds. It made it even softer and then I just saw the whole thing and there you have masking and spraying again I got the image down framed the image with a pretty very pretty lace and the dress form is actually like a mannequin for Barbie dolls but I like she's not so big so I, I kind of like that and I put some rhinestone around her neck, distressed that, gave her a fleur de lis like French, and here's also one of the Paris, the Eiffel Towers I have in my shop. I'm slightly distressed and altered. The violin I have, uh, this flower I made, uh, uh, egg carton, uh, inspired by the tutorial Roxy Carl Levin did. Uh, last autumn something uh, which I absolutely love and I distressed it again and it's got uh, Tim Holtz uh, tea dye distress things it got um, UT and it got salt on it it got glitter on it I got Inca gold on it I don't know what it doesn't have it have a lot <laughs> so yeah damn glue string I have heat set this I have to do it again okay and here we go it's a crystal a bunch of cluster of these uh, flowers they're in this shop a little tread spool with fiber ink gold with silver here um little bottle vial with glitter and their stick pin hoarded pearl and there is wild orchid craft flowers, chiffon flowers, rosette flowers, and an uh, altered flower. And the bedding appliques I got from Maggie, Maggie Margaret White. And I used them all up. And here's a doodad that's got really painted and distressed again. So, if, and here's another lace flower and sprays elongating and kind of tying this together with the uh, horizontal line of the dress form so now that's that for this <laughs> okay and i will link to part uh six i believe in the this series underneath and i hope to see you there as well bye